Alright, so we just got to Zanny Do. Yeah, it looks like I have three ways to go. Thank you for choosing Zanny Do Tours. The building on your left is Jim's Gym. Zanny Do. Well, seldom is heard an intelligible word and the mango and diesel souffle. The national anthem? Yup. Home on the range. That path on the right is the way to whack me. Say what? Oh, it's the forward path. Oh, whatever, let's go to the gym first. An advertisement for a whack me contest. If you call our hotline and give all the right answers to our nearly impossible questions, we'll say you have won Whack Me's Not Everyone's a Winner contest. A free Whack Me product is yours today in the unlikely event that you answer all of our questions correctly. That's right, there are absolutely no strings attached, except you have to answer every last one of our manically difficult... Manat... Manat... <laughs> Difficult questions. We frankly doubt that today is your lucky day. Call now for your free prize. Or at least a bunch of questions. Now what I am noticing, yeah, call now. Oh, I gotta get my pen and paper. Because the phone at the tavern utilized colors instead of uh, Fitness center and designated drop zone for doggy doo doo. Excuse me, sir. Outhouse security. I'll have to ask you gentlemen to step away from the rest facility. Oh, yeah? Or else what? Citizens in my capacity as an outhouse security professional, this flushing establishment and its surroundings are within my jurisdiction. In short, from where you stand, I am the law. As such, I am authorized to deal with scoundrels, gangsters, charlatans, miscreants, rapscallions, ne'er-do-wells, and all other troublemakers as I see fit. This would include mercilessly beating you about the head with a shovel. I think we better just do whatever he says. I swear, if it wasn't for the fact that I'm a pitiful coward, I'd step back a few feet and flip him off. Big time! <laughs> Let me get this straight. You're guarding this outhouse? Correct. No one is allowed inside until the clock strikes the end of my shift. Zany do penal code section 7 subparagraph 12. But what if it's a, you know, an emergency? A fish flushing emergency? Fish flushing? Well, yeah. What else would we do in there? Sir, I would caution you that entering an outhouse for any reason other than to flush fish would be considered toileting with intent, for which I can and will cause you pain. Hey, what else would we do in there? Right flux? So, we really can't go inside? We promise not to make a mess. You can either go inside and make a mess, nor go inside and not make a mess. Well, what about making a mess and then going inside? The zany Duke clock will signal the end of my shift. At that point, and not a second earlier, you and your friend will be free to fish flush. Boy, that is one dedicated security guard. I'll say. No, I mean really dedicated. The zany Duke clock is broken. It hasn't chimed in years. Jeez. That's a hell of a shift. I'll bet he's pooped. Hmm, could be. Plus, he's probably tired. Officer, I just want you to know we're both very impressed by the fine job you're doing here. Thank you, citizen. Now, please, move along and... However, I, I think it's only fair to inform you that the clock you've been waiting to hear strike the end of your shift. You know, so you can go home to your loved ones, maybe get a little rest, watch a ball game. Well, it's... Broken. It hasn't chimed in years. Years! So you see, your shift was over a long, long time ago. Zany Do Penal Code Section 3, subparagraph 17. 
No citizen shall knowingly deceive or otherwise mislead, defraud, hoodwink, or dupe an outhouse security professional in the course of his, her, or its duty. Hey, I have never hoodwinked. I wouldn't dream of duping. Or said security professional shall raise a big hairless bump on the aforementioned citizen's noggin and or noggins. Uh, uh, have a nice day, officer. Yeah, a nice never-ending day. <laughs> Look, we just want to flush some fish. Is that so wrong? I believe I've made it very clear to you two that fish flushing hours are over. Come back after the zany duke clock has chimed out the end of my shift. At that time, I shall spend exactly 30 minutes perambulating to my residence, and after ensuring that my dwelling is tidy and secure, will retire for the evening. Until then, I shall guard this flushing establishment with the selfless devotion expected of an outhouse security professional. How about a bribe? What could you possibly offer me to make me break the law, and in so doing, tarnish the spotless reputation of the toilet sentry? Uh, Drew? The satisfaction of knowing you've helped someone in need? So long, gentlemen. Gentlemen. Nice one, buddy. Hmm. Pity. I thought you were about to offer me a comfy chair. Yes! Yes! We can get that! Just let us in! Attempting to bribe an outhouse security professional is in direct violation of Zenidu Penal Code Section 5, subparagraph 13. Cease and desist, or ready your hiney for the mother of all spankings. Look, we don't even know what time the shift ends. Can you just slip away and take a quick look at the clock? And see if your shift is over. I can't leave my post to look at clocks. Civil Code Section 8, Part... But if you checked the clock and it really was fish flushing time, then you wouldn't actually have left your post. Because, technically, you would have already been off duty. Am I right? Could you repeat that? Just what kind of idiot do you two think I am? Zenidu Civil Code Section 5, Subparagraph 25. In the unlikely event that the Zany Duke clock is broken, an outhouse security professional may be relieved from his duties by the commode commandant. The commandant is easily identified by his purple complexion and green glasses. Officer, Ten Hut, I'm relieving you from your duties. Dismissed. As an outhouse security professional, I am exposed on a daily basis to the scum of this world, to the dregs of society, and by this I mean, of course, the general public. There isn't a scam, swindle, or sting I haven't seen, heard, or smelled, so I find your commode commandant routine painfully transparent. P.S. Any future attempt to pose as an outhouse security officer, senior, or otherwise, will result in the prompt insertion of my fist into your eye socket. Lieutenant Blank! Ten hot retreat! We have to go, but before we do, I want you to know that talking to you has been like beating my head against a brick wall. Only more so. Thank you, citizen. It's been a pleasure thwarting your illicit activities. No, no, not like that. Some hazardous looking gymnastics equipment. This is my friend, Fox. Oh, look. Two scrawny stick figures have wandered accidentally into my world-famous gym by accident. You two are obviously looking for the dress shop down the street. You will recognize it by the sign reading, Yes, girls, come inside now. We have petite sizes. Let me guess. Your gym. Ooh, I am becoming flabbergasted. To my surprising, your little monkey head actually contains a tiny brain. Actually, my species parted ways with the monkeys a long time ago. Then we started to use tools, grow vegetables, and domesticate lessons. What is going animals, on with that cat back Such there? as the canines. Ha ha, while the monkey man grows vegetables, I am growing muscles. I don't think he has any idea what I was talking about. Yeah, well, that makes three of us. And so, what's so great about this gym, anyway? What is being so great about this gym was asking the pretty little lady man. My techniques have helped hundreds become stronger, less pathetic individuals. Of course, no pupil has ever come close to equaling my strength. Of course. But all of my customers are walking out that door able to kick their flabby hindquarters of weaklings like you. Take a certain sailor man. I put him on an all spinach diet. You should see him now. Actually, I think I have. What's that big machine in the corner? 
You are looking at the ultimate piece of bodybuilding equipment, the Pumpotron. Guaranteed to be beating even the most pathetic loser into a powerful specimen of manhood. Hey Drew, listen to that. Sounds like there's hope for you after all. Sorry, Charlie. The equipment is only for club members. Right. Well, I guess we'll go ahead and join up. Wrong again, Pee Wee Man. Membership is by invitation only. My invitation. And, uh, we're not invited. Bingo, puny wimp runt. What's all the gymnastics stuff for? That is my personal equipment. I use it to demonstrate my agility and grace. If you ask me, all those bars and things look kind of dangerous. To a clumsy, bumbling monkey like you, yes. But for me, my routine is as easy as one, two. Say, Jim, could you possibly do us a small favor? What is it that you are wanting, speak stick figure man? Well, I, I was just wondering if maybe Flux and I could see your routine. All right, I suppose I can be giving you a quick demonstration. Oh boy, I can hardly be waiting. for us to go. Hey, we must have been here several months in dog years. Do not be getting attitude, smarty slacks, or I will be having no choice but to pound you into a puddle with teeth. That is my personal equipment. Do not be making me hurt you. Why is everybody so, like, adamant about wanting to kick my ass? Stop right there, worm-like insect. That machine is only for club members. You are barely fit to look at it, let alone touch its shiny chrome. Hey, Flux, go pump yourself up. Remember, friends don't ask friends to exercise. Nothing I'm gonna be able to do here. Who's there? It is I, your malevolence. A thousand pardons, but I have detected a new presence in Qtopia. I don't have time for more news of rabbits. I have work. This is no rabbit. I've never sensed any creature quite like this before. I see. Is it, um, dangerous? It seems harmless. So far. Good, good, but keep watching it. I'm not in the mood for meddlers. I need time to recharge the machine for my next strike. Yes, my liege. Yeah, I guess I can hear Tim Curry out of that. That path on the right is the way to whack me. Say what?
obviously this doesn't help me at all if I don't know what time that man was supposed to get off, so... go first this time. It's funnier to watch you fail. Thanks, old friend. Huh. Vultures make me nervous when they hang around like that. Doesn't look like there's anything to really do here. I don't think the vulture will let me. A signpost. Trust you two are just passing through. Look, the least you could do is tell us what time your shift is over, Flatfoot. Mr. Flatfoot? Mr. Flatfoot, sir? So, no flushing until we hear the right number of chimes, huh? Well, thanks for all your help, sir. I'll just be going. Seriously, officer, the clock is broken. We're not making this up! Watch it, boys. My trigger fist is getting itchy. Uh, thank you, sir. Trigger fist. See you later. Good day, travelers. May your journey be pleasant, and may your flushes be authorized. Well... Since he's waiting to hear chimes, I'm guessing that means it has to be like, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whatever. Like, it has to be on the hour.
That was a really fucking obnoxious noise. Just the other day, when I bought all that stuff. No, but I'll tell you what, son. Just show me that whack me stuff you're talking about, and I'll be happy to let you use our fine machine. Those things in the case are concept models of the latest wacky designs. <laughs> a squirting flower. What's your... All the pictures. You're looking at our favorite folks in the whole world, our paying customers. Every face on this wall belongs to a thoroughly satisfied client of ours. Ain't they a smiley bunch? Sure. <laughs> yeah, the ones who still have faces anyway. Have I seen that guy somewhere? Look at all the satisfied customers. Look at all the satisfied customers. Guys, he's war. I'm wood. Welcome to Whack Me. Great place you have here. Oh, Whack Me is just kind of a natural extension of Warp and Me's hobby. See? What hobby is that? Beating the living crap out of each other for grins. <laughs> One day we realized, hey, here we are beating the living crap out of each other. But what's in it for us? And then Warp said, you know what? Wouldn't all self-respecting zanies just give their eye teeth? for the opportunity to beat the living crap out of each other with the same style and finesse as us. Well, actually, Warp just kind of chuckled this weird chuckle, but I knew what he meant. And so, Whack Me was born. Abuse tools by the experts. Exactly. We can put our names on Whack Me products with confidence because we've tested every item personally over and over <laughs> on each other. You're obviously a shrewd businessman. Hey, we saw a market niche and we failed it. In Zany Dude, turn around and you step on someone who needs an ambulance. It's been a while since I was in here. Anything new? <laughs> Anything new? You hear that, war? <laughs> Anything new? Are you kidding, mister? You turn around, we got something new every day. I thought it was... Turn around, you step on somebody who needs an anvil. Don't get smart, son. Stay the way you are. So, what is new? Our latest prototypes are in the case there. Uh, they aren't for sale just yet. <laughs> but we'd be more than happy to demonstrate them for you. What's that machine in the corner? That little beauty is the one and only free fall gift of matter. Just push the button to start it, then stop it at the gift you want by pushing the button again. It's our little way of saying a big thank you to our valued paying customers. <laughs> Could you demonstrate one of those cigars? Absolutely, but be warned. This is no mere exploding cigar. This is the fat man of trick stogies. Smoking this sucker is real bad for your health. 
Best of all, it's guaranteed to go off in your mouth, not in your hands. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> of that boxing glove. Right away, customer satisfaction is our middle name. Let me guess, turn around, you step on another satisfied customer. Correct. Now listen up. With the simple press of a button, this glove will smash the living daylights out of any unsuspecting sucker skull. The chump on the receiving end is guaranteed to see stars every time. Crush all you want, folks. This glove is built to outlast your victim's heads blow after blow after beautiful blow. Observe. <laughs> Note the quality of our genuine synthetic leather. Oh. 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 I was able to... Hi, guys. How's business? Painful. Uh, glad to hear it. Would you mind demonstrating that glove again? Say no more. Customer satisfaction is our number one priority. I thought it was your middle name. Listen to this. With the simple press of a button, this glove will smash the living daylights out of any unsuspecting sucker skull. The chump on the receiving end is guaranteed to see stars every time. Observe. Note the quality of our genuine synthetic leather. There's plenty more where these came from. We're back. Pleasure to see you again. You guys are regular regulars. Could we take a look at that flower? Friends, this is not your garden variety squirting flower. Why sprinkle your buddy with plain old water when you can douse him with an unhealthy portion of extra strength acid? <laughs> Show them, Warp. Some pretty that violent powder fucking toys. Looks interesting. That's our patented shaking flake itching powder. Sure, lots of stuff can make you itch, but our powder has a special added ingredient, Lepro C. I guarantee it'll give you a lot more than a little tangle. <laughs> Ready, War? <laughs> Leprosy? <laughs> see our friends leave, especially when they haven't bought anything. Come again soon. That mechanical bird is in even worse shape than the clock. seem like very appropriate uh, bathroom attire but hey what do I know think anyone would mind if I took a quick whiz mind this is a sophisticated piece of sporting equipment next you'll be wanting to be smirch the scroll of wisdom and she's dancing because why wouldn't she be 
Looks like the toilet is clogged. Can't fish flush with a clogged toilet. No way, no how. Toilet paper with a message. Flush for victory. Deposit fish in bowl. Stand by for excitement. Toggle fish launcher to initiate flush sequence. Focus on the fish. Reactivate fish launcher to reverse flush fish. Gauge worthiness of catch. Official fish ranking. Loser, go home. Yeah, whatever. A medium rarity, not bad. The mother of all fish flushes. You win. So, I have that fish, if I'm not mistaken. So I guess you would be... Sounds like a slot machine for the fish? But anyways, it's clogged. I don't think I have anything that would unclog a toilet. So... Guess we're done in Zanidu for now. So next we'll be heading over to the tavern. Purple, red, orange, yellow, green, orange. I noticed that that took a while to register. Does that mean I have to... Yep, alright. Jim was the cat at, at whack me, right? Have exceeded the time oh, limit. fuck. Question one. Oh, okay. What color is Jim's fur? Anyways, the one was yellow. I think the other one was blue? Question two. What color are the fishtails on top of the outhouse? Well, that was all golden, so I'm guessing yellow. Question three. Besides white, what color is Warp's fur? Well, it was Jim and Warp. The other one was orange. Question four. What color fish can be found on the right shoulder of a toilet sentry's uniform? Fuck, I don't know. Sorry, you did not answer all of our questions correctly. But please, call again soon. 
Okay. Gems for wolves for toilet century shoulders outhouse fish. Squirrel is angrier than yesterday. Alright, so the arrow... gone, but I can see the fish tails from here. They were yellow, so... That path on the right is the way to whack me. Say what? Enough looking at them, and Red. neither can you, I guess. Yellow. Oh, Wolf is actually purple. And he has a green color. Touch Hue phone, dial in the answer. Ready? Question one. What color are the floor tiles inside Jim's gym? Question two. What color are the Rocky Mountains of the way out back? Oh. 
Melons are normally orange in cartoons. Question three. Besides white, what color is Whoop's fur? Okay, so he is blue. Purple. He is fucking purple. Question four. What Fuck. color fish can be found on the left shoulder of a toilet sentry's uniform? Question five. What color are the plant pots outside Whack Me? Those were purple. Uh, and I put green in anyways because I'm and not intelligent. And the final question is, on the Zany Do sign, what color is the arrow pointing to Whack Me? Alright, let's try this. One more time. Blue. Purple. Red. Orange. Yellow. Green. Orange. Welcome to Whack Me's Not Everyone's a Winner Contest. It's easy to play. Just listen to each question, and then, using your touch cue phone, dial in the answer. Ready? Question one. What color are the floor tiles inside Jim's gym? Question two. What color are the Rocky Mountains of the Way Out Back? I still haven't gone and looked at this, but I'm still committing on orange, just because, you know, think like Question three. Roadrunner Besides and, uh, white, what color is Whoop's fur? Think he was purple? Question four. What color fish can be found on the no. left shoulder Fuck. of a toilet sentry's uniform? Warp is the orange one. It's like I wrote all these notes and I just refused to look at them. Because I'm big brain. Welcome to Whack Me's Not Everyone's a Winner Contest! It's easy to play. Just listen to each question, and then, using your touch cue phone, dial in the answer. Ready? Question one. What color are the floor tiles inside Jim's gym? Question two. What color are the Rocky Mountains of the way out back? Question three. Besides white, what color is Whoop's fur? Question four. What color fish can be found on the left shoulder of a toilet sentry's uniform? That uh, one was red. Question five. What color are the plant pots outside Whack Me? Those are purple. And our final question is, on the Zany Do sign, what color is the arrow pointing to Whack Me? That is right. Sorry, you lose. Thanks for playing. What? Not everyone.
everyone, the winner contest. It's easy to play. Just listen to each question, and then, using your touch cue phone, dial in the answer. Ready? Question one. What color are the Rocky Mountains of the way out back? Question two. What color is Jim's fur? Question three. What color are the fishtails on top of the outhouse? Question four. What color is Wolf's collar? Question five. What color fish can be found on the left shoulder of a toilet sentry's uniform? You know, I think that's the one I fucked up. Because technically, I was not considering that I was looking at a photograph. And our final question is, on the zany do sign, what color is the arrow pointing to whack me? <laughs> Congratulations! You win! Your fabulous Whack Me prize should be arriving right now! <laughs> Whack Me Jumping Beans! Uh, Whack Me Jumping Beans! Does that make me a paying customer now or some shit? Alright. I'm gonna head over here and I'm gonna take a small break. Business. Painful. Uh, glad to hear it. For now, now, I have a headache. Do you guys want your beans back? I believe these whack me jumping beans prove that I'm a uh. paying customer. Why, yes, they do. Help yourself to the gift o -matic. She's all yours. Oh, and I get to keep the beans? Prize. Hope this makes you feel better. Oh, I don't think it does, but all right. I thought it was gonna be like a wheel. We have a winner. You'll be taking home our top prize, the Wackme Mega Magnet with our patented no slip grip. Easy on off switch and more pull than your local elected official. So can I use it again? <laughs> oh, I can. Well, a magnet you, my friend, and a mallet. I already know what to do with those. Mallet. Pound for pound, the best quality bludgeoning device in existence today. I got two more prizes to get, apparently.
congratulations, champ. Let's give this guy a hand. Or at least a glove. I don't remember what I could use. I hate to break it to son, but this is a business, not a charity. Oh. So I can't get the other one? I hate to break it to you, son, but this is a business, not a charity. Nope. Alright. Where's my notes? Okay. Well, I can at least get two tasks done from memory right now. Unless I wonder, will the glove... Red rubber glove. Red rubber. I don't think that's the kind of thing the squirrel is looking for. Oh wait, can I get A that thin pepper? Rubber glove won't protect me from this briar patch. No. Right. Stars. Alright, whatever. Let's go get the bottle of wine and the butter. Well, I don't know if we'll get the butter, but... Obviously, a needle in a haystack here. She said there's a little tiny part that fell around. So... Magnets, obviously, what I need here. Bam. Got it. Aha! Like they always say, there's more than one way to search a haystack. I don't think they do, but... Alright, so what do I do? Just pop it in? Is this what you were looking for? You sweet, dear thing! You found the Chernatron's missing part! Oh, you sweet, dear thing! My goodness! I'm so excited! I've got butterflies in my stomachs! Why, I'm lactating with delight! Excuse me, gentlemen! Oh! Oh! oh. Butter! Oh, I don't know how to thank you! Oh, or actually, I do! Take the very first two sticks. One for each of you. Oh, that was his... We, uh, can't wait to taste it. That was as disturbing as I thought it was going to be. Alright, so I think we're done here in the bar? Yeah, I don't really feel like sitting there watching her, uh, continuously milk herself. A little lewd, a little suggestive. We are not going to talk to you. I don't give a shit what you want. Bye. Okay, so... Bakery and arcade. Mind if I take a whack at that strengthometer? Sure, go ahead. <laughs> He is your lucky melon. No thanks. I brought my own. Hey, 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 nobody said nothing about bringing your own freaking mallet. Besides, that plucky thing is going to get you anywhere. Like my old pop used to say to me, fingers, you stupid, good-for-nothing little creep. Always use the right tool for the job. And by the way, you smell like crap. Wise guy, my pop. Oh, good. Now, I suggest you put that down before. Uh, uh, uh. Remember, this is Qtopia. Before you hurt your poor little back. Oh, but if you want to use it, just go right ahead. Hmm? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, dear. Looks like we've had a little accident. Now put that thing away. You hurt yourself before. I hurt myself. Laughing. 
Okay, so I can't actually use the mallet yet. I guess I gotta work at Jim's gym. <coughs> what are you talking about? The rabbit was my favorite character. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. <clears throat> welcome, Butter. Aw, oh, thank you, friends. Now, allow me to treat you to the yummy wares of my day young bakery. Joy. Joy. Yeah, happy. <laughs> There you go. One freshly prepared lump of raw dough, yeah. Yummy. Ah, it felt wonderful making dough again. Oh, goodness gracious, I'm so happy. Me too, completely, perfectly happy. Fabulously, amazingly, wonderfully happy. <laughs> if only Ray were here to celebrate with us. <laughs> Boy, that didn't last long. Uh oh. Looks like I got some dough. Dough's dough. Yeah, I'm not talking to the rabbit again until I have her popcorn. And even then, that's a fucking stretch. Did I try the fertilizer on this? Think I should fertilize this pepper plant? No, looks pretty healthy already. Think I should fertilize this pepper plant? No, looks pretty healthy already. That briar patch is healthy enough already. Does... fertilizer not even have a use? Can I just like dump it back in the pot? Because we used it to wake up the mouse. I said I wasn't gonna come here and watch that again. It's already full of fertilizer. And here I am. Here. No. Shit. So dealing with cartoon logic, I got two sticks of butter. Maybe I can trip up Jim somehow? This is interactive. That is my personal equipment. Do not be making me hurt you. Almost everything is better with butter. I'm not gonna have him knock oh, his ass out. Oh, buddy. Do not be mistaking me. I am not some kind of aging friend of yours in any way. Boy. That routine of yours sure looked dangerous. I mean, if it were me, I'd be afraid I'd break my neck. But then you don't have one, so I guess you don't have to worry. There is no danger to me. I'm keeping my equipment in perfect condition. 
much like Butter for the corn would make sense in a logical case, game like this. This is a cartoon. I sure like to see your routine again. And that's how I've actually been making it through this, is thinking in cartoon logic. There's a fucking swordfish up there. That was rather violent, too. Leaving so soon? So can Come I use this now? When you can't stay longer. So how does it feel to be in tippy-top physical condition? Do you have any aspirin? Making an ass of myself is against my religion. Looks like we've taken the gym out of gymnastics. So maybe now I'm strong enough to use the mallet. Oh shit, it's Tim Curry time again. <laughs> What happened over here at the barn? Marge! Polly? Mistress Marge! And Punisher Polly! Divas, Divas of, of destruction. destruction! Mince my meat! <laughs> what in the actual Don't fuck? Spare the rod. <laughs> Hello, ladies. Ladies? Well, not technically speaking, of course. The fire has hit the barn, didn't he? I guess a half dozen times. And I've never felt better. Harder! Harder! Tenderize this side of beef! Bad cow! Bad cow! Take that! Flux, we can't just stand here! You're absolutely right! Flux whipping boy wildly, reporting for duty! Whip my cream! Uh, you guys are... Harder! My hide's getting numb! This just isn't healthy! Yeah, I know. A cow wearing leather. It's just not right. Um... Begging your forgiveness, mistress, but I can't whip any harder. And you something else, you worthless insect! But I've already tried everything in the barn! You got anything we can use? Pliers? Staple gun? Flamethrower? I think I might have some toenail clippers. Forget it! Say, where's Elmer? Uh, yeah, it's not like him to move. Elmer? That's a... Sticky question. Very sticky. I haven't seen Elmer for quite a while, but he's certainly around here somewhere. <laughs> you get the feeling they're not telling us something? That's okay. If it's what I think it is, we didn't want to know anyway. <laughs> What's wrong with your Chudatron? Call me crazy, but I, I could swear it's making glue. Of course it is! Can't you read? It's a Gluatron! With it, I'm making the finest glue in the world! The quickest drying! The strongest smelling! I know you want it! But you can't have any! More, you sack of mutton! That ridiculous whip! There's got to be something better! Mince my meat! Well, see you later. It's been... Disturbing! Careful with that whip! You could hurt somebody! <laughs> okay, so I can't have Why any glue, right? Sack of mutton! Nope. 
glue is something you earn, slug. What have you done for us lately? <laughs> Didn't that used to be a Trinitron? <laughs> Dangerous looking gunk. Can I get that? Okay. Who needs fertilizer? I'd rather have this stuff. <laughs> so I'm assuming this will be the complete opposite of fertilizer. Give it to me. Can I get the? Can I burn the pepper plant? A watering can full of dangerous-looking stuff. I'm not sure poisoning the local floor was one of my mission objectives. Oh. Oopsie. I seem to have spillweed kill on this nice briar patch. Unlucky. Drew Black, the notorious vegetable pillager of Qtopia, strikes again. <coughs> I think you'll find that peppers are actually ah. classified as fruit, Drew. Eh, whatever. Alright. Let's go get that bottle of wine. And not talk to Fluffy Bun. Fluffy, Fluffy Bun Bun. Mind if I take a whack at that strengthometer? Sure, go ahead. <laughs> Here's your lucky mallet. No thanks. I brought my own. <laughs> Don Dingus? Yes! What? That's impossible! I, I mean... Well, well... Uh, Congratulations! <laughs> you don't think I'm impressed. You know what they say about guys with big, big balance. Actually, I don't know. Hey, Squid Boy, where's our Chef Lee? Yeah, 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 here. Take your freaking one. Hey, this isn't Chef Lee. This says it's Captain Blowhard's prune wine. Yeah! Yeah, and I hope you both joke on it. Uh, is there anything I can rub? Uh, scavenge from here? How much I really have with a broken strengthometer? Hmm, that's a toughie. Overall, I rate the fun quotient of a broken strengthometer at approximately 1.5. Why did you want to know? I didn't. Oh. Now I have wine to give the wolf. One. 
Fucking a ball. Damn, that hot pot sure got rid of the wolves. And not to mention all my muscle aches. A hot fire. The wolf's dinner table, crushed. Recipe for squirrel love. See the male squirrel, look at the female squirrel. See the female squirrel's big teeth and nice bushy tail. See the male squirrel get very excited. Happy, happy squirrel. See the happy male squirrel jump up and down. See the happy female squirrel jump up and down. See the happy male and female squirrel run away to make whoopee. Hooray, bye bye squirrels. So... Okay. Baby's pot runneth over. A spit. Well, that's fine. I don't even know how much longer I might actually get back to town and... I'm saving the world, not making dinner. Oh, can I make popcorn? On this fire? Oh shit, I did! It's cool, but remember, don't try this at home.
Oh, I'm gonna get that. Uh oh, now it's getting zapped. Ah, trusted henchman. Enter. Go in, Majesty. I need you to take care of a meddler. Another Qtopian? No, this meddler is an alien. <gasps> and he is not alone. He travels with a Zanian. Oh, don't worry, your monstrousness. We'll get you. I never said I was worried. No, of course not, Your Excellency. Sorry. Find them at once and lock them away. Uh, uh, forgive me, Majesty, but for how long? Well, gosh, I don't want to seem unreasonable. So how about forever? <laughs> oh, I just thought about it. Can I go back into that cave? I can. Okay, good. Because this might be the only source of, like, fire, I'm guessing. Can I use this It'll here? burn up if I just toss it into the fire. So can I spit? It'll burn up if I just toss it into the fire. Well, the way he's saying that makes me think... There must be a more convenient way to do that. There must be a more convenient way to do that. I'll just put this back where I found it. Okay, so we're not too terribly far off here. Oh, is this it? Nice. Hey! I didn't know you could cook. I mean bake. I mean barbecue. Oh, I took the spit anyways, just because it looks fucking cool. Alright. What's this way? A skull and cross wrenches. I'm not exactly sure what that means, but I bet it isn't welcome. CDs. Place of screams. Reputable establishment, doesn't it? Oh, okay. I didn't actually expect that I was supposed to grab that. Uh... No, oh, let's go get fucking annoying rabbit out of the way. A nasty looking squirrel. A squirrel doesn't need to read that. He already knows all that stuff. I don't think that's the kind of thing the squirrel is looking for. Sorry, Atatsu. <sighs> Fluffy, we have a special surprise for you. It's popcorn, isn't it? Good, at least I don't have to hear that. That was relatively shorter than it could have been. <coughs> Alright, what the fuck do I have to do now? <coughs> I guess I should do an evaluation of what I have. The malevolator. Okay, so once again, it's obviously things like sugar and spice. I'm 100% certain the next one's Cloak and Daggers, Stars and Stripes. 
Empire, and... I don't know that one. Oh, Bells and Whistle. Polish. Spit and Polish? Needles. I don't know that one. Nuts and bolts. Cha ball and chain. Bow and arrow. Salt and pepper. Rock and I'm assuming roll. So, actually we have quite a few fucking items then, if that's the case. Chain. Nope. Go back. Chain. Stars. Roll. Pepper. Bell. Spit. A disgusting hunk of chewed meat. Can I just like throw items on and then... Get an actual accurate readout? So spit and polish, salt and pepper, rock and roll. Stars and stripes. Bells and whistles. Quite right. Look at the readout. Seven functioning components have been installed. And seven are placed in the correct compartments. The cutifier is almost in tippy top shape. Go, Team Happy! Seven. So, is that the seven I placed? Well, one, two, wait, let's start here. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Great. I'm gonna go off the heavy assumption that I'm right and they're wrong. Here just likes pressing that big red button. Don't forget your things. So we'll be going into a brand new zone. I'm gonna go drag my happy ass over that way. I'm gonna talk to the Carecrow real quick. Who knows, maybe he'll have some new dialogue based upon uh, 
the malevolator happening. We're back! Well, if it isn't the dynamic duo! Nice to see you boys again! The barn is a disaster. Let me guess. Nefarious. Who else? He zapped everything in sight with that hideous ray of his. A zap zap here, and a zap zap there. Here a zap, there a zap. Everywhere a zap zap. <coughs> you must have been worried that Nefarious would hit you. I was. I'm glad I was able to outrun him. Yeah. Good thing you outrun, outrun him. him. Just a little joke. I was about to say, wait, what? Uh, what was the... So cloak? you're willing to trade your cloak if we can find you something... Oh. You gotta be kidding! You mean you don't remember the spiel? I want something I can wear all day long and all year round, but it doesn't have to be out of this world. I don't want to have a hair out of place, nothing too sappy, and not too many bells and whistles. I don't want a big top, and definitely no cross-dressing. Thanks. I admire a guy who knows what he doesn't want. Well, we gotta be going. All right, boys, but don't forget about your friend the Carecrow. Be sure to keep me posted, as if I wasn't already. Into the level lands. Oh, wait. Was there something here? Oh, no, I think it was just Flux walking in front of my, uh... Alright. We got a lot of progress done. Wait, is that another Perfectly one? round butthole. Huh. Yeah, we're gonna save the level lands for another night. It's been about an hour and a half. We made a lot of progress. About to probably have to talk to a bunch of new people here at whatever the fuck this place is, and uh, this place, and then CDs. Proper attire required. Around here, that could mean just about anything. 